there is no reason to hit a woman. And I was just like, really? I could give you like 17 right off the top of my head. You could wake me from a drunken stupor, I could still give you like nine. What's up, it's Pluto. Welcome back to Classic Reactions, where we get into classic hits that I've never heard before. Yes, this is Classic Reactions Comedy Edition. You guys, we're getting into more Bill Burr because I see you guys really enjoy the comedy special. Hey, I love to laugh and I love music. So. so let me know more comedians that you guys would like me to react to. But tonight we're getting into Bill Burr. No reason to hit a woman. No, we have these huge battles. You know what the maddest she ever got at me was? One time she was watching this show, it was like a poor excuse for The View, and they started talking about domestic violence, right? For the nine millionth time this year, they're talking about domestic violence, just in case, you know, you didn't get the memo, you know? <laughs> Evidently, you know, just some people didn't get it. It's not okay to slam your wife's head into the cupboard drawers <laughs> because she didn't dry the can opener off properly, you know? <laughs> it's gonna fucking rust, right? How do you not know not to do that shit? Do they really have to keep talking about it? Uh, who, who, it's like wife beaters watching for, oh, fuck, ah! Now I get it, ups a daisy, sweetheart, here we go. There you go, oh. So at the end of the hour, they come to the logical conclusion. They're like, there is no reason to hit a woman. There is no reason to hit a woman. And I was just like, really? I could give you like 17 right off the top of my head. You could wake me from a drunken stupor, I could still give you like nine. Dude, there's plenty of reasons to hit a woman. You just don't do it. But to sit there and suggest that there's no reason. Dude, the level of ego behind that statement. What are you, levitating above the rest of us? You're never annoying. Women, how many times have you thought about slapping your, your fucking guy in the head this week? There you go. Every day. You didn't do it, right? Oh, dude, it drives me nuts. There's no reason. There's no reason. Really? No reason? How about this? You marry a girl, you fall in love, you buy her a house. You go to work every day, paying off the house. You come home one day, she's banging the next door neighbor, hands you divorce papers. You got to move out, sleep on a futon, and still pay for that house that she's going to stay in. No reason. <laughs> I'm not saying you should do it, but there's plenty of fucking reasons in that arc of a story. You guys, let me know below. Is there any reason that it's okay to put your hands on a woman if you are a man? Let me know below. Like he said, there's plenty of reasons, but should it be done is the question. No. All right, that was a hypothetical. <laughs> you want an actual story? I'll give you one, I'll give you one. All right, I fucked up my foot playing drums, trying to get my bass drum foot as fast as uh, John Bonham's, because I figure that's a good thing to focus on. 43 years of age, never married, no kids. I figure this, this is gonna lead me to the light, right? This, this, this is what I need to do. <laughs> so I don't know what I did. I, I felt like, after I played for like an hour, and afterwards I felt like literally like there was some midget stabbing me in the bottom of my foot, right? Like I had lightning coming out of the bottom of my foot. So I did the typical guy thing. I'm like, I'm not going to the hospital, I'll sleep it off. Be fine, right? Next morning I wake up, my foot's even worse. And I gotta walk my crazy dog. <laughs> so I'm like, I can't do it, my foot's killing me. So I wake up, my girl I go, sweetheart, sweetheart, can you do me a favor? Can you do me a favor? Can, can you walk the dog for me? Can you uh, just take the shift? You know, I'll do your afternoon shift. Can you just do me the solid? Can you do this for me? And she's just like, oh. You know, I had a late, late night last night. I'm tired, I have a big day, and I just go, fuck it. She goes, what do you mean, fuck it? It's like, why can't you just say no? Why do you always gotta like waterboard me with like a 20 minute explanation that eventually winds its way around to go fuck yourself? Just say no. So I'm just limping out of the room. Whatever, go back to bed. You got a big day, right? I'm sorry, that is so relatable, so true. Just shoot it to me straight. I don't need you to go all around God's creation to tell me no. So now I'm like limping down the street. I got like Tourette's fucking goddamn bullshit. Dog's walking next to me. Now 
And I gotta admit, I got a little childish. I did, I got a little childish, you know? I was just thinking about my relationship. I'm like, this, this is the relationship I'm in? You're just gonna do whatever the hell you wanna do, right? And fuck me? Fine, I'm gonna do whatever the hell I wanna do. I feel like listening to my iPod on full blast, walking around the house. That's what I'm gonna do. So that's what I did. Turned it all the way up, and I just, I, my whole plan was just to walk by her like I didn't even know her. That was it, she came down the hall, I just ghosted her. Just walked right past her. <laughs> just trying to piss her off. And I gotta tell you something, work like a charm. Worked like a charm. Yeah, hung my coat up, turned around. By the time I turned around, she was already yelling at me. But the music was so loud, not only could I not hear her, it actually looked like she was singing the song that I was listening to. Oh, it's one of the highlights of the relationship. So I knew what I might have to try that. What she was saying, I was like, whatever, I don't want to talk about it, leave me alone. I'm going on to the computer, right? So I limp over and I sit down, and unbeknownst to me, she's like, no, we're gonna talk about this right now. Comes up and slaps the headphones off my head. I got a big, I got big ears, it fucking hurt. So I'm like, honey, leave me alone. I don't want to talk about it. Put the headphones back on. She comes right back up again. Poo, slaps them off a little harder. This time they spin halfway around my head. Caveman DNA starts coming up, talking through my teeth. Honey, leave me alone. Don't want to talk about it, right? Put them on third time, she comes up. Poo, slaps them right across the room and I snap. I'm like, fine, you want to have the fight? Let's fucking have the fight. She's like, we will discuss this later when you calm down. <laughs> oh, right there. I just wanted to roll her up on her yoga mat and stuff her behind the couch. <laughs> just leave her there until she got thirsty. Come on, let me out of here. I, I have a spin class. You've made your point. This is, this is ridiculous. No, that's the thing. Really is, that's the thing. I, I hate that saying there's no reason. Obviously, I'm not saying to hit a woman, you know? But saying there's no reason, I think that's crazy. <laughs> when you say there's no reason, that kills any sort of examination as to how two people ended up at that, at that place. If you say there's no reason, whoo, you cut out the buildup, you just left with the act. How are you gonna solve it if you don't figure it out? Look how awkward it is in here right now. <laughs> I said you shouldn't hit a woman. I'm just saying, how come you can't ask questions? You can only ask questions about what the guy did. You can never ask about the woman. Why is that? Why is that? What is that? What does is, what is answer him right mean? What does that mean? Are you the idiot who got up halfway through the special during the bit and you're like walking around like I'm not fucking taping a special here? What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? Fucking had to ignore all of that and now you're gonna like yell out? And not only that, yell something that makes no fucking sense whatsoever? Answer him! Answer him! Every fucking special I do, there's always one! Always, right down the fucking middle. Talking about hitting women, sweetheart. And I think you just added another reason. Jesus fucking Christ. You love this, I'm not even in a relationship with her and she's fucking nagging me. Fucking unbelievable. <laughs> Look, I understand hitting a woman's a bad thing, okay? Well, how come you can't fucking ask questions? I just don't understand. Like, if I got bit by a rattlesnake, wouldn't you guys have some questions? All right? How did it happen? Did you not see it? Were you fucking with it? How did this snake get so mad? It almost killed you. That is true. In domestic disputes, there's really no asking questions when it comes to abusing a woman, which it shouldn't be, but it should go vice versa. I love Bill Burr's comedy because it's rooted in so much truth. We all know that it's a double standard when it comes to a man hitting a woman or a woman, woman hitting a man. Neither party should be hitting, period. But we have to admit there is a double standard. That's just like my sister coming to me and saying, hey, my husband hit me. I mean, immediately I'm going to be boiling. But then if he comes to me and say, hey, your sister hit me, then I'm going to have questions like, why did she hit you? So there's a double standard. You guys, do you agree? Firemen put out a fire. They don't just drive away afterwards. They sift through the debris. How did it start? Here's an oily rag, right? 
Look, I realize I'm coming off pretty ignorant right about now. I realize that. Let me extend an olive branch then, okay? I realize that there's some animal guys out there, okay? Horrible guys, you know, have a rough day at the factory, come home, tune a casserole, and just start swinging, all right? <laughs> I'm not trying to say that those people don't exist. I realize they exist, they should be buried underneath the prison, okay? So if I can admit that, ladies, can you at least admit that every ass kicking doesn't just fall out of the fucking sky? Really? Even hockey has two minutes for instigating, right? They understand that some back and forth happened before that shit, you know? You know what it is? It's every case is handled like that Rihanna one, where they just say, the guy's a piece of shit, fuck this guy, blah, 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 send him to jail, and then they never ask anything about that. You know, I'm not saying he should have done it. Shout out to Chris Brown. But I'm just saying. I'm just saying, dude, in your heart of hearts, what do you think was going down before that happened? You think she was just sitting there going, oh my God, Baston Robbins, you want to get some ice cream? And he fucking, ah, fucking. <laughs> you know? What do you think? Maybe they were having some epic end of the relationship fight and some crazy shit was being said. Maybe she was screaming in his ear some crazy female shit like, oh, fuck all your friends, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Maybe that's why I sell more albums than you, motherfucker. Right? Well, she does. To be fair, she could have just been sitting there going, I need a tissue. Do you keep those in the glove box? Oh my God, I'll bring my own. I'll bring my own. <laughs> now, fuck that. Because you know what it is? They never address how women argue, which I think is a core of a lot of that shit. You know? And I got to tell you something, man. Like, I never knew how women argued. But after 20 years of losing every significant battle, in a relationship. I finally figured out how they argued. I'm gonna tell you something. I'm starting to turn this franchise around. <laughs> I have begun a winning tradition. This is how they argue, as far as I can tell. All right, if they're right, they argue the point. And they stay on point and make sure you stay on point until you're down on your knees, apologizing, begging for forgiveness. All right, no problem with that, totally respect it. But here's the thing, if they're wrong, they go rogue. They go off-road. They start thinking of shit you're sensitive about, maybe you don't get along with your dad, and in their head, they just start concocting this evil statement. Right, because last week, you remember when you did that? Yeah, that's how it go. Totally designed this desperate Hail Mary attempt to make you so fucking mad, you just call him a cunt. That's what it is. And cunt trumps all the bullshit they did to start the argument. Now it's not about that one, that's no reason to call me a cunt. And then that's it, you're in this room now, right? <laughs> my girl knows my big thing is, my big fear in life is to be that dude who grows old, you know, grows old alone, has like that basement apartment, just screaming up at the younger couple, turn it down! <laughs> that isn't music! So I noticed that, anytime she was losing a fight, out of nowhere, she'd just be like, well, that's why you're just gonna grow old and be alone. Then I'd, I'd lose my shit. The next thing you know, I'm in the kitchen washing dishes for the ninth fucking time in a row. This is what the argument was about. I was so right, what happened? So if you learn anything from my ignorance tonight, just know this, next time you're in a battle with your beautiful woman, your, your wife, girlfriend, whatever, and they start out of nowhere, okay? You're winning and they just start saying that crazy shit out of nowhere. Just know in that moment you've won the fight, okay? All right, don't get mad. Bob and weave, slip all of that shit. Maybe because yeah, you got a little dick, just let that slide. Stay in the pocket of the argument. Okay, it's over. The argument is over, you've won. Just take a knee and run out the clock, all right? Yes, lean on the ropes, let them punch themselves out. And then in the end, you throw this psychology right back at them. Well, maybe we should discuss it later when you calm down. And they won't hook up with you for a couple of days, who cares? Who cares, you rub one out. Rub one out like a man. It's a champagne of victory. All right, you guys. That was Bill Burr, and he is a mess. I really enjoyed that. Got some good laughs. I am a fan of dark humor. I'm sorry if you're not, but, I mean, really all comedy is rooted in real life. 
And that's what it's about, turning pain into laughter and really being able to laugh at humankind because we're all crazy, let's face it. But no, in reality, we're not putting our hands on anybody, especially not women. We're upholding them. But I mean, his jokes, they were funny. Let's admit it. 